Uh, so in this one, I'm multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. So multiplying two fractions with algebra in it, A's, dividing two fractions with algebra in it. Now, when you do these, you need to be uh, a little bit careful about how you do them. So step one, you need to look top and bottom. This is multiplication. You need to look top and bottom of both of these. Now, you can cancel down. So if 2 over A had a common factor, you can cancel. But you can also cancel diagonally. Diagonally. Okay, so you can cancel down there, but you can also cancel across these fractions as well. So when I look at these, I can't cancel anything with 2 and A, and I can't cancel anything with A plus 2 over 4, but I can cancel across there. So that's going to leave me with uh, the 2 cancels out, so that just leaves a 1 up the top of that one, times A plus 2 and a 2 down the bottom of that one. Now you might have thought that you could cancel the A's here, but you can't cancel the A's because it's A plus something else. You can only cancel if it's all multiplication up the top there. So that does not work. Don't do that. Finally, we multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. 1 times A plus 2 is simply A plus 2. And A times 2 is 2A. All right, that's as simple as it gets. You can try to factorize stuff, but nothing's going to happen. So there's their answer. Now, the next one is a division. Now, remember that when you're dividing fractions, it's the same as multiplying the reciprocal, the upside down of the second fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this as a multiplication times 6 on x minus 2. And then I'm going to try to cancel out a crosswards like that. Now, 2x minus 4, I look at that and I think, oh, I can, I can do the, I can factorize that. So I'm going to factorize that before I do anything else. Okay. And now you can see a bunch of stuff's going to, um, going to disappear here. The 6 and the 3 are going to cancel out. And the x minus 2 and the x minus 2 are going to cancel out. That whole thing there. So what I'm left with on this side is 2 over 1. And what I'm left with on this side, so 6 cancels out with 3. So the 6 becomes 2. All right. So just finishing that up, what we have is 2 over 1 times 2 over 1 just becomes top times top, bottom times bottom, 4 over 1, or just plain old 4. All right. Uh, these algebraic fractions, they can get a little bit confusing. Work through them. Talk to me if you're having any problems.